spectrometer. Uh, a spectrometer. And um, you know, start by marking, getting a cereal box and marking a 60 degree angle on it and cutting the 60 degree on um, both sides here and here. Yeah. Next. Tiny, Next tiny, slip. tiny, tiny, tiny slip. And we also made a window here and we also did that. We put the um, CD in. Oh, and don't remember. And remember the tiny slit here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, just keep it there. Mm. Flame. So what I want you to say is, what what does Dusty. it look like? It looks red. So you got a nice spectrum red there. And green. So you got the full spectrum. Have you got the full spectrum? Have you got white light? Yeah, we've so got. We've got, got, got green, white. blue, and red. Okay. Wow. I didn't see. I didn't I see. Keep my head back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Set my head on fire. Oh, okay. It's mostly red and white. So, so you got all the different colours, right? Okay. So now what, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put so some sodium. some sodium in. Now what sodium. what are we expecting? What's our hypothesis? That it will go yellowish, even redder. So yellow. But You're going to get more what, red What's the colour of those red. lamps on the street? Are they red? Orangey. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. yellow. So we're going to get more. So we're going to get more yellow. So so the sodium's going to emit what colour? Yellow. Yellow, yeah, that's right. Okay, it, it, so. It, 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 so watch, you have to look, look inside, guys. Look inside, guys. look inside. Look inside of the different... Do you see it? It's going green. No. Did you look at the right place? Are you looking at the right place? There you go. Have a look. Mm -hmm. Look on the inside, quick. It, it's... I can't find the right angle. Oh, it's... Whitish. Can you see more, more, more yellow? Yeah. Yeah, that's from the sodium, that, which is emitting light. Yeah, that's my, the that's my hand. There you go, covered in salt. <laughs> that, that, um, fluorescent light. Okay. <laughs> now, what does it look like? Does it look like the candle? Not really. Okay. What's different about it? It's got more of different colors. It's got colors. more. It's got Lines. different colors. Yeah. So it's got. So it's not a continuous. It's not continuous lines, Why you get discrete kidding? lines. What about... So let's see if we can try and pick this up on the camera, shall we? Yeah. Now let me just do this. The camera's another person. Can you see the little lines? Can you see them? It's a line! So we have discrete lines. So what do, you, what do you think this tells us about what's going on in this light compared with the um, compared with a flame? The flame has. Um, flame. So it looks like that, right? Because it's just a hot object. It's just yeah. emitting. This is what we predict. But when we have a fluorescent bulb, what's actually happening inside of a fluorescent bulb is it's coated with phosphorus. Yep. And so inside of the tube, you've got UV light that's being made, and that hits the phosphorus on the outside of the fluorescent tube, and it emits in all different colours, but at discrete wavelengths. So that's why you see discrete, discrete lines, um, and not just a continuum of light. So yeah, what would it look like on that um, thingy? On the spectrometer? Yeah. Well, let's have a look, shall we?